Alright, hey everybody. Uh, welcome to my tutorial on how to make yourself fly upwards. Um, so what you need is a clip of you just jumping as high as you can, like here. Hold on. You just jump in like that. And then you need to leave the scene and just leave that's gonna be your background plate. So I'm gonna save that save that snapshot. I'm gonna call it background. Yeah. Alright, so we have background and you want to find the point where you jump, start to jump. Oh wait. And for me that would be I'm standing up. It'd be right here. So I want to save that snapshot too. And I'm gonna call this jump. <clears throat> so now we have the background plate, and we have a jump plate. All right. So now I'm just gonna trim that down. Trim this down too. So I'm just watching TV and then I just jump up. And you wanna put your jump right after that. So basically you jump and then it freezes. Now, uh, put your background plate under your jump. Okay. Now we'll go to event pan slash crop, hit the mask, and you're gonna make a basic mask around the body. Doesn't need to be need to be perfect because you're gonna blur it out after like to put a feather about one just to make it a little bit softer okay so now I'm just gonna X that out and as you can see if I just solo this we have a nice little mask and the background plate is what's behind it so now all we need to do is go to track motion find a point where the image starts which is right here and then um, basically go up like five frames and just move it up just like that with your arrow key and you can move it diagonally if you want I'm actually gonna do that so basically, just moves up on its own. Okay, that's basically what it is. Let's just play that back. As you can see, it goes kind of slow. So all you need to do, <clears throat> zoom in, bring this one further in, and there we go. Now I zoom up. No, it looks kind of fake right now because, well, I didn't add any blur yet. And we're gonna do that now. We're gonna go to the event effects, go to linear blur, add, and let's see here. I'm gonna go to the vertical light and as it goes up I'll put actually right here I'll bring it down to like 25 
and then as it goes up it'll get more blurry and I'll make it 50 so uh, I'll just play that back that looks better you can add a camera shake if you want or I don't know something or a sound effect like a sound effect but that's basically the idea it's pretty simple I'm just gonna add some nice contrast final touches and uh... yeah that's basically all it is so I'm just adding some final touches Yeah. So, uh, there it is. Uh, here's the final result. Thanks.